Yo, I don't know what the deal is with the Renegade Raider standing here, but she just pulled out of absolutely nowhere and said if you guys didn't leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel in the next 7.2 seconds, she was going to do something pretty insane. And looking at the pump shotgun she's holding, I really wouldn't doubt her. So just leave a like and subscribe. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Sci-Fi here coming at you guys again today with a brand new Fortnite video. And this video gets pretty crazy. So I was just sitting on some Fortnite and I was talking to my future girlfriend or girlfriend. I'm not really sure what to call her. We've been talking like we were dating, but you know, it's a long story basically she hit me up and she said she had something that she needed to tell me and it wasn't very good and i had to promise that i wouldn't get mad at her now what she told me actually involves my really good friend knack and i actually had to confront knack because of what she said and knack started freaking out because like he didn't want to get caught but like i said this video is absolutely insane so make sure you guys watch all the way to the end you guys will definitely not want to miss this please leave a like on this video subscribe to my channel if you guys are new turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload and enjoy the rest of this video uh hey naka what's up dude nothing much i just woke up dude what's up with you uh i'm just chilling i'm sitting here um i'm kind of thinking about a lot of stuff right now because i got some really weird messages today and i need some clarification here what do you mean you got some weird messages and like what do i have to do with them like what do, like what do you want me to clarify well i mean before we get too far into that i guess um do you have something that you want to tell me knack no dude um are you sure that there's nothing at all like you can't think of a single thing that you want to tell me or you were gonna tell me and you forgot to tell me like nothing at all uh no dude like i literally just talked to you yesterday like what could i have possibly done that i have to tell you about um i don't know dude but uh this person that i'm talking to says you have something to tell me nah dude mm, i've literally nothing to tell you bro like I, I don't know who you're talking to but like they're they're not sane um i think this person is sane and i don't think this person would like lie about this because they felt pretty bad for what they did and they said you were involved and that you wanted to be the one to tell me but you know you haven't told me so there is something that you want to tell me and like you're just not telling me so what are you hiding knack dude i'm hiding literally nothing bro like i literally just woke up dude like what, what are you like coming at me like this for dude like it's way too early for this uh dude i don't care if it's too early for this okay like what this person is telling me bro is like way too like out of pocket and i can't even believe you would do this but i'm tired of sitting here and i know you're not going to be the one to tell me you're not going to say a thing you're just going to keep your mouth shut and i'm just going to read you what this person said uh, all right bro i got i gotta hear this because if it's like you know crazy like you say it is and i have something to do with it i mean yeah i guess i gotta hear it all right but before i you know read all these messages i'm just going to tell you now that the person is you know my girlfriend or future girlfriend or whatever whatever she is it's that person so does that ring a bell does that like make you remember something you want to tell me yet oh okay yeah so you do have something you want to tell me nah dude nope nothing everything's all good nothing to tell you bro just uh bro, you literally uh, you literally just sounded like you had something to tell me but whatever like i said i know you're not gonna say anything you're just gonna sit there act like you did nothing wrong but this is what she said so she messaged me and said hey we need to talk and you know that's not you know out of pocket or anything that's usually normal so i was like okay what's up and i was a little confused um because th she doesn't usually message me and say we need to talk like that and then she said well i kind of messed up and i don't want you to be mad at me or the other person involved so at this point i was extremely confused and i did not know what was going on and i don't really know what to say to her at this point so i just said well you're really confusing me right now what are you talking about and uh this is where she like started freaking me out a little bit she said promise you won't get mad and i said i mean i guess but i can't really promise that if i don't know what you did and then she said just promise me so at this point i knew it wasn't going to be good and uh and me now after you know receiving these messages and already dealing with it i know it's not good and you know you probably are sitting right there just like shaking or something in fear because like you know what you did bro nope didn't do anything dude but like um you, you you said you promised that like you wouldn't get mad right um yeah sure i said okay fine i promise will you just tell me i'm kind of freaking out because at this point like i said i had no idea what was going on so i was freaking out a little bit and then this is where you know she kind of spilled the beans she said well honestly i'm surprised knack you know you didn't already tell you but like we've been talking for a little bit now so then i was really confused to hear that you know my girlfriend
Karen has been talking to my best friend. And I already knew you were talking to her because, you know, you put her through that gold digger test or whatever. And, you know, I didn't think much of it. But the way she said it, I was kind of, you know, getting some thoughts in my head. And it seems like my thoughts were right. And I replied to her and I said, what are you talking about? And then this is where she really told me what's happening. And I know you're scared right now. And then she said, well, after he hit me up the other day asking me all those questions, I could see he really cared about me. So whatever you said to her the other day, Knack, you know, putting her through the gold digger test really showed how much you care for my girlfriend. You know, let's let's remember that my girlfriend. And then I said, yo, WTF are you talking about? And then she said, I mean, I just told you, but I guess I'll just say it. And then, bro, this is what she had to say. Now, are you ready for this? Like, are you really mentally prepared for this one? I mean, dude, at this point, I kind of already know what's coming. So just go ahead and say it. All right. She said, I'm dating Knack. Like, do you want to explain that one, buddy? Well, basically, dude, she already told you, like, when I when I put her through that gold digger test, she, you know, like, kind of just fell in love with me, bro. And, you know, I kind of like her, too. Um, Like I like I already said before, I like her for me, just not for you, bro. Bro, I don't even know what you're trying to, like, make an argument about right now, because honestly, like, nothing you say is going to be cool at all, okay? Like, you stole my girlfriend, but this is what I had to say to her. In all capital letters, I said, your what? WTF happened between us. And then she said nothing did, but he's so nice and he cares so much about me. And uh, Nack, I don't know where she got that from because like you're literally brain dead all the time. So she's probably just making it up or you put on a good act in front of her. I said, I'm nice to you all the time. And I've cared about you since like the third grade WTF. And she said, yeah, but he barely knows me and he already cares this much. And then this is when I was like, okay, nah, screw this. I need to talk to him. And she said, he's just going to tell you the same thing I told you. I just thought he would have told you sooner. And then I said, nah, just leave me alone. I can't believe you or my best friend would do this to me. So yeah, Nack, you, do you like want to explain, you know, earlier when I was asking you if you had anything you wanted to tell me, you couldn't think of like the major elephant in the room that you're uh, dating my girlfriend. You couldn't think of that? Well, dude, I, I don't know. I mean, I kind of thought like, well, since we've been talking for like a while now, I mean, it just kind of felt normal. So I didn't like really think about you in this situation, bro. I was kind of just, you know, thinking about myself. Uh, that was the worst thing you possibly could have said there. You weren't thinking about me in the situation when you were talking to my girlfriend, you were thinking about yourself. I mean, dude, I'm just gonna, you know, t tell you how it was, bro. Cause like that, that's really just how it went down, bro. Like we were just talking and, uh, then it led to this. Are you like, you, you sound like you're proud of this. I mean, I'm not really proud, but I mean, I can't be mad. It was my fault, bro. Like, yeah. So, uh, what are you going to do to fix this then, Knack? Like, um, it's my girlfriend. Dude, I, I don't know if there's much more I can do to fix this. Like, she's kind of my girlfriend now. Bro, no, she is not. Are you okay? Dude, what do you mean? Am I okay? Like, you literally just read the messages and said that, and she said that we're dating, bro. No, you're not dating. It's as simple as that. I don't care what she said. I don't care what you say. It's not happening, Knack. Bro, like, you literally just saw the messages. Um, she told you i told you like just like you know you, you gotta just like you know see it through bro bro i don't even know what you're trying to say to me right now but i'm done talking to you okay so i'll talk to you later actually no i won't i'm gonna block you on literally everything you're a garbage friend i hate you never want to talk to you again later no dude, dude, dude before you go before you go what do you want bro there's one more thing like dude i, I gotta tell you about this since like uh, since you already know about all this bro i don't want to hear about it okay i don't care what you have planned with her i don't care what you guys do together i don't care about any of that okay so just get off your high horse or whatever you're about to tell me just don't tell me okay just shut up dude no, chill out. It's just a prank, bro. Bro, how is it just a prank if she hit me up to say that? Like, she messaged me to say all of that. How is that a prank, dude? Well, you know, when I said that I was gonna fix stuff with you guys a couple days ago, like, I actually did, and she, like, you know, asked me if I wanted to, if I wanted to do a prank on you, and we just didn't know when we were gonna do it, and I guess today's the day. I, I don't believe that at all, but whatever you say, I'm gonna go call her and back your story up, and let me tell you right now, Nack, if that is isn't like the truth and if it's not actually a prank like don't ever expect another message from me again bro i'm telling you it's a prank like you're probably gonna call me like right after you get off the phone with her because like honestly this prank was just gold no dude this honestly sucked and like i said if it's not the truth i'm never talking to you again bye